make these broadband absorbers, I used a 2 foot by 3 foot frame of 1 by 4 inch lumber, along with a single panel of 2 inch Owens Corning 703 rigid fiberglass insulation. For these panels, I chose to use some burlap coffee bags to cover the insulation and to add a different interesting look. After inserting the insulation panel into the burlap bag, I fold the top of the bag over and then insert these inside the painted frame. These panels hang easily from some screws in the wall and I place them along the side walls of the mix position and behind the monitors. Additionally, I have one more broadband panel mounted to the ceiling between the monitors and the mix position. Remember, all flat hard surfaces produce reflections across the frequency spectrum and these broadband absorbers are effective down to around 200 Hz. They cost about $22 each to build. In the back of my room, I have made some different treatments for some additional reduction in mid to high frequencies and to help control flutter echo. Again, I have used 1 by 4 inch lumber frames measuring 16 by 32 inches and covered with black burlap. These panels are filled with regular pink R13 insulation with the paper side facing the wall. These rolls of insulation can be found at most big box hardware stores for pretty cheap. Along the back wall of my room, I have a 6 foot by 3 foot diffuser absorber panel to go along with the corner base straps. You can build this from some pegboard, regular pink insulation, plywood, and some screws and fabric. Check out my blog link in the description below for more details on all of these acoustic treatments. And don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see.